am going to do a pour using different techniques on these coasters and I bought them at the dollar store. They even come backed with the backing with the cork. So I taped off the back so it doesn't actually run into the back when I pour. And the first thing I want to do, just like you would do a vase pour, is I just take rubbing alcohol and I clean the surface of these to make sure they're good and clean. So that is the first thing that should be done on surfaces that you're going to be pouring over, except for a canvas, of course. You don't need to do this on a canvas. But practically everything else you're going to pour over, you know, when it comes to objects, you want to make sure it's good and clean. And see, it's dirty. You see that? All right. Now, um, I have these sitting on top of, resting on top of uh, these little doodads to raise them so that when the paint drips, it drips down in there. And since this is for me, I'm using the colors in a room that uh, have my colors in it. So I'm using a deep red, a couple different yellows, an orange, gold, black, and white. And so I'm going to do different techniques on each of these using the same colors. So I want to start with a, a tree ring pour. And I'm just going to cover one of these like so. A tree ring pour requires that all the paint goes in a cup. So I'm going to start with white on the bottom. And then uh, let's do... Let's do gold. Now, these are not going to require much paint, so I've got to be careful that I don't pour a lot of paint on these because I'm going to have to run it off anyway. So there's orange, and now I'll do the deep red. And now I'll do the brighter yellow and then the golden yellow. All right, and now I'm just going to spread this around a little bit so that it covers the edges and flows nicely. I'm going to take the cup, and this is a tree ring pour. That's enough paint for that. So now let's just tilt this. Try to tilt it so you can see what I'm doing. That bottom corner. Come back. It really, with a tree ring pour, you really get some nice lines in it. So I'm happy, oops, I was happy with it for a second. Now I'm happy. I'll show you close-ups when I'm done with everything. All right, so the next thing is going to be a flip cup. So I've got the paint mixed in here, all the same colors as I used there, and I'm just going to I think I might probably even have too much paint. Flip the cup on there, let it sit, drip down for a minute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like move this around a little bit and lift. That's a pretty design. And I don't have to do much tilting here. All the colors are just, I really love flip cups because they really maintain the colors. But I'm losing them by tilting. Hmm. So I'll leave that alone. <laughs> there we go, get the tape down there. All right, well that 
that's interesting. Doesn't look anything like that, that's for sure. So this one, I'm going to just do a blow. So I'm going to put a little bit of the white on the surface here and just get that spread around a little bit. I don't have my gloves on, so I'm going to use this. There we go. And I'm just going to do some blobs. <laughs> I'm going to do puddle pour. I guess maybe they call that a puddle pour. A mini blower instead of my big hair dryer and I'm just going to see if I could blow out a flower or something like that easy and nice. I love the colors here. This is pretty cool. Uh, again, I'll be bringing you in for a close-up. And by the way, on this uh, flip cup, I, I poured a blob in there and I didn't really care for it. Actually, I still don't. Um, hmm. I, I'm going to add a little. When you don't like something, you can always do something else to it. A different technique so I'm gonna just, just I put a little paint on there and I'm gonna take a straw and I'm gonna blow see that is a lot more interesting to me now before the blob was just a blob and now it's an interesting blob okay so let's do a swipe on the next one and I'm going to again put some white on the tile as a base. Oh, I have a blob of other paint there. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's covered and so I'm going to do the colors, what, let's see, what do I want? Um, oh, heck, I don't know. Just gonna, I'll do some orange there. Use the uh, cell activator white for the top swipe color and I forgot to get my card so I just have a cut out um, card here and I better get this out of the way and I'm gonna swipe nice cells Okay, I'm actually going to get the bubbles out of that. See if I can bring out more cells even. It's coming through. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm going to take a paper towel and wet the end of it. And I'm just going to kind of go, I don't want to ruin that. Let's see if I can just bring it down this way.
Yes, you, to me that's better. That's a lot better. Where's my... Okay, we've got the swipe done. Um, I'm going to do a balloon press next. Okay, I have my balloon, which I've used quite a bit, actually. And um, so it's still inflated. I am going to just pour a very thin layer of the white on here. side and I'm going to just do like little puddle pours. Um, I'll start with the red. play with that for a minute. See how we like it. like that a lot actually so I'll leave that alone the final one will be an open cup pour so I cut out the bottom of this small uh, container and I'm just going to pour the paint in there I'll start with white Get that tilted. Paint is moving well. I just hope I have enough to spread it out to the next corner. Yeah, I do. I totally do. Oh, I like that. I'm going to... I'm going to stop tilting because I like that. All right. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Here's the tree ring. I love it. it. It just, it has some really nice lines in there. And this one was the, uh, what was that? That was the flip cup. That's right. And then I added to it and blew it out with a straw on that splash of color. This one was the blow and I really love the cell action on that one. And this one was the swipe and that came out with some great cells because I used the cell acti activator. I did not use silicone. Okay. And this one was the balloon presses. On that one, 
And although they don't look like flowers, I, I really like the design on that. And this was the open cup pour. And that really produced the beautiful colors and design. So I've got this set here. And uh, same colors, different techniques. They all go together rather nicely. And um, yeah, I'm happy with the different looks. All right, thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe.